now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Marketplace on a place like Buff and of course a place globally like the Steam Market where everyone can use it who buys and sells and trades CSGO skins. And well, ever since November and December of 2021, prices alongside player counts for CSGO have just shot up and exploded in price never like we've seen before. And while in today's video, I want to take a look currently at the Steam Market, this being the community market specifically, on some cases, some core crutch items a lot of people were buying at those periods in time and of course some average joe things maybe like a prince stream and of course your average tier knife which i would say if you have a knife this is probably something around the range you'll have and the question that I want to be answered, have prices gone down really at all? Are they starting to go up more? Maybe starting to go down? Or are they just kind of flatlining? What's the deal with CSGO skins? This will answer and maybe if you should buy some skins right now or maybe sell some at this current point in time. And also we'll take a look at some Antwerp stickers and Stockholm to give my opinions and thoughts on just what's happening with stickers in general. And well, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe. And here's a quick word from our video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Now today's video sponsor is of course, Skins Monkey. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with what Skins Monkey is, they are currently the biggest growing Counter-Strike Global Offensive trading marketplace for skins, which is absolutely amazing with great fees as well. Let's just say you guys have some skins you're really not feeling anymore. Skins Monkey is the best way to trade them. In this trade to be exact, I actually profited 18 cents, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, but considering it's a trade website it's actually very very good sign up today to get up to a five dollar bonus which is very nice and if you've never used the website before well you can use my code mando go up to the top right you claim that bonus and if you guys want to deposit with real life cash or crypto you get a 25 percent deposit bonus which is very very nice so as you guys know prices for csgo have shot up exponentially this past year but player count recently has reached over a million. And the reason this is a little crazy and a little different than we've ever seen before is during the pandemic era in 2020 and 2021, we saw player counts go over a million, which was very insane, which is very good as well. But I would say those numbers were very inflated and weren't really realistic because people weren't going to be playing CSGO, the ones who were playing for the first time or just that period of time forever. It was just kind of for a one-time thing. Right now, I feel like people who are playing CSGO are back at a normal job. They're not stuck in the house 24 7 these are people who legitimately enjoy csgo so this tells me with more people enjoying things are going to be coming a lot harder to of course buy and invest in in the future but with that prices are just going up on older items especially cases and that's what i firstly want to take a look at the active duty cases have actually gone down a little bit the dreams and nightmares are about 10 cents that's very very nice the recoil case has gone down from almost a dollar 80 to two dollars to a dollar 56 and it seems to be new active duty dropping cases inside of csgo are extremely hard and rare to go down in price at over almost 200,000 quantity the dreams and nightmares is still 75 cents at a hundred thousand the recoil case is still a dollar 56 and that's just crazy the supply and demand on that is just nuts and it seems to be people are willing to pay that price for that specifically things like the clutch case have gone up and kind of stayed at this stagnant price throughout the year they haven't really dropped they haven't really gone up they have hit 40 cents for a little while but that wasn't for very long what has gone up though for sure is of course the breakout case at four dollars and 20 cents it's seeing new highs and it never has before the reason behind this is of course it's a low quantity item on the market. So really anything close or around 10,000, you're going to see prices stagnant and really move throughout the day. So someone could buy 10 of these and the next price behind for $4 and 20 cents could be five bucks. That's just an example. Does it happen all the time? No, but you can see that every once in a while. And of course the glove case, $2 and 76 cents. This thing was once a very flippable item from $2 to $3. Now, not really. And I would say behind it is because there's a lot of other cases you can get gloves in inside CSGO for a little cheaper and people just enjoy them a little more it's not worth paying that extra dollar or two dollars and 76 cents premium when you can just get some gloves that maybe look half as good or a little better in something like the snake bite case for most people and the fracture case is of course going up to 15 and snake bite is going 13 which is down quite a bit from what it was just a couple weeks ago when the csgo market was getting a lot of hype now instances where i would sell right now or something like the spectrum and chroma 3 situation these are absolutely crazy this is just what i would do personally and this is what i have done the past couple of weeks 
And same with your breakout cases. I would say these are not unstable, but they're going and kind of reaching right now, I feel like in some ways, unstable prices and unrealistic prices. I don't feel like these prices are going to stick and hold forever. That's why I am selling right now. And I have bought and sold items throughout this past year, but it has been extremely hard for me to do so. Compared to last year, I really haven't bought nearly as much as I did, or at least earlier on in 2022 as right now. The revolver case is something I've bought and sold throughout this year, but mostly just kept and sold throughout the year, like off and on, sell a few cases, buy some if I find some on a cheap website somewhere. 50,000 quantity is on the revolver case, for an example, at 40 cents. These were 10 cents in November of in December of 2021. People asked in Mando Monday if this is going to reach a dollar. Yes, it eventually will, but it's going to definitely take some time. This has also gone up kind of correlating with the player count. People want to unbox older cases and especially some of those older knives. Other things like the wildfire case are definitely going up quite a bit right now as well. This, of course, being because of the AK fuel injector. And it's not the worst case in the world. It's just not a whole lot of people want it right now and it's not really in demand. Things like the Horizon case are kind of similar to the Spectrum and all those other cases. It's going up very, very fast, but it's a little different as well because it's a, one of those cheaper cases inside of CSGO. And usually when the market goes down, the cheaper side of things for cases anyway, don't go down that much, especially compared to something like the Breakout. You compare Horizon to the Breakout, the Breakout is going to go down a lot more. You're going to lose a lot more percentage on that than you would something like the Horizon case, just from past previous experience with me and just looking at some older cases, maybe like the Chroma 3 or even something like the CS20 case, which I would not buy at this point in time or really any time. <laughs> if you guys have any questions on cases, just let me know. So now I'm going to briefly go over Stockholm and Antwerp right now and my thoughts on it specifically. Obviously, everyone's calling Antwerp RMR 2.0 and Stockholm was never really the best investment in the first place because of course those prices are down. And well, what I have to say about the two items and two majors specifically is I think burnout is real, especially on stickers inside of CSGO. I think we've just received so many stickers in the game this past year. In the past two years, especially very similar ones, there being Stockholm and Antwerp, People are just burnt out on these new stickers. Just That's just how it is right now. And the reason I would say Stockholm was so successful, obviously it was over-invested in, especially compared to something like Antwerp 2022, but also it was the first year in a very long time we saw transparent background stickers that stickers and people actually enjoyed. On top of that, we didn't know what the future was like. We didn't know if the future was going to hold, you know, we'd get transparent stickers three years in a row. We never thought that. It was going to be Katowice 2019, where we get circular backgrounds once again, or something very similar to that. Nothing like Stockholm. We thought this was going to be a one-off major. That's why it was successful in the first place. And I guess you could say Valve is kind of doing us dirty and ruining this quite a bit because one, they're adding a whole bunch of stickers every single year. And the same thing could be said about agents. If operations keep re-releasing agents, just making new ones, 20 a year, for an example, and Master Shiny said this in one of his most recent videos, which is very interesting and I completely agree with, it's going to devalue a lot of the older ones, therefore making them a kind of a niche market, but also just not a great investment in the future because it's not going to help and really give you you any buyer protection for an example on an older investment or an older item you're gonna have to sell it before the new ones come out and, and the same thing is to be said with the Antwerp capsules I just it's they're not in demand there's not a whole lot of them in the market at least compared to RMR at some points in time when there's over a million of them it's just people are not interested in buying them at this point in time. It might take a few months to a couple years for these things to go start going back up in price, but I definitely don't think we're in an RMR situation where these things are not going to be great in any near future. They could be really good during the next major if they have really bad stickers, for an example, or in the next couple of years, but it's just going to definitely take some time. Now, lastly, up on today's video, I want to check up on some just regular average Joe items and some items we've talked about throughout this past year. Now, the first thing is, of course, the M4A1S print stream. This thing in November and December of 2021 was around $75 and $80. It is now currently $125, but has also hit a peak at $157. And this, of course, is being in the field tested condition, which is extremely good. And the reason I pick field tested and not factory new is because I feel like most people have field tested. It's more affordable and there's more of them on the market, therefore creating more price history for us to look at and recently with all the m4a4 nerfs m4a4 buffs and you know the price changes and whatnot the prices have been pretty stagnant from going from 124 dollars dropping to 88 going up to 160 and then dropping to 130 that we're kind of at right now and i would say this is pretty high in price but it's correlating very well with the player count and this is a huge thing i think the player count is correlating to the prices inside of csgo with more players more people are wanting skins and of course buying skins and that's what we're seeing with an instance right here. As the player count rises and drops, people are of course buying and selling these and mainly buying them. 
And the dips we did see were of course because of that nerf in the first place and the initial FOMO. Now the next and last item I wanna take a look at is of course our knife. And this is an average Joe knife in the $200 range on a place like Buff. This being the flip knife lore in the field tested condition, it's not expensive, it's not really cheap either. It's kind of just a middle ground with most people who are playing CS. You can probably afford this if you're buying a knife. And this normally throughout the year, especially in years prior, was usually a buck 70, a buck 75. And really ever since March, this has been post $200. Now this is kind of going with the player count, but also this is just showing that older things in the game are going up in price and especially older knives. A lot of the knife videos that I've made this past year, like the best knives, the best cheap knives for $100, the best cheap knives for $200 are extremely outdated. Those knives are no longer in that price range. They're over $100 or they're sub 100 bucks because they've dropped a little bit, but most of the time they've gone over the price range. So one, I have to redo those videos soon, but that also tells us quite a bit, which is actually very interesting that a lot of the lower tier items inside of CS have risen a lot up in price. And really this year has proven a lot of things differently and also proven a lot of things wrong. This is showing us that you don't have to have a lot of money going into CS, but this is also kind of a one case scenario sort of thing where this is not gonna happen every single year. This isn't gonna happen at all times. Some things that had to play into a lot of this stuff going up, a lot of the lower tier knives and skins was of course because of the Chinese website Upin. It's a renting skins website like Loot Bear. And that really pushed a lot of these skins up. And with more traders, buyers, and sellers, that also pushed it up quite a bit. So it's kind of hard to tell what exactly happened, but we can see what kind of made it to be the way it is today, if that makes any sense. So overall, it looks like prices are going up and following suit with the player count at this point in time. My thoughts on Stockholm and Antwerp and just stickers in general, there's just too many of them for how much people want them right now. We're kind of getting dried out of stickers I would say at this point in time, there's just too many of them. And I hope that changes in the future, but we all know it probably will not. Great example is the CS10 capsule. Instead of getting an update or at least an announcement of Source 2, we received a another sticker capsule with over 60 stickers, which is just kind of crazy. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are doing. Definitely wouldn't buy in now. And selling for some instances, like we talked about with some of the cases, is not the worst idea in the world either. But at this point in time, it does look like prices are just going to keep going up. But if there is a surprise operation or something like that, we will see price crashes and we don't know how long those will last for. Peace out, guys.